Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast for July 3rd. Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times, brought to you by the Casino Wharf FX on the water in Falmouth Heights. Don't miss the 4th of July waterfront fireworks extravaganza featuring an exclusive gourmet dinner, $150 per person. Reservations a must. Call 508 540 6160. Now let's take a look at news. Well, folks, you've got to let me know, should he stay or should he go? We're talking about the Frenchman who wouldn't leave, of course, Charlie Gerard, the would-be transatlantic rower, who appears to have set a record for false starts. Today, Gerard was working on another leak in his boat and said he hoped to leave for France on the 4th of July. We'll see. But moving on to the more, more, more department, the town of Middleborough apparently is set to tell the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe that they would like a bigger piece of the casino action, including a slice of slot machine revenue as well. In exchange for financial considerations, the town would support the tribe in getting state and federal approval for a casino. The tribe has already purchased 125 acres of town land in Middleborough. File this under the Little Bang Theory. The state fire marshal is urging Massachusetts residents to enjoy a safe 4th of July by leaving fireworks displays to the professionals. And did you know that the possession and use of all fireworks by private citizens is illegal in Massachusetts, including sparklers and firecrackers? So folks, forewarned is unarmed. Turning to sand and sun, folks, the Cape Cod Times online beach guide is up and humming much to the excitement of online editor Greg Bryant and online intern Larissa Boyer, who celebrated today at Calmus Beach in Hyannis. Yeah, I'm really excited about the beach, guys. It's really cool. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, good stuff in it, good maps, locations of all the beaches on Cape Cod. It's easy to find. All you have to do is go to oncape.com, click on the beach guide icon, and you're there. We particularly put a lot of hard work into this, and I know Larissa here is very, very excited about the guide in particular. You know, it's so great, I just feel like going for a swim right now. Woo! <laughs> oh god, I hate Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Okay, let's dry off and turn to the world of sports. In Senior Babe Ruth League action last night, Max Curtis pitched a complete game seven hitter, and Corbin Fries and Adam Morgan each went two for four to lead Barnstable to a seven to two Senior Babe Ruth baseball victory over Yarmouth Dennis. If you're hankering for some live hardball action, there's a full slate of Cape Cod Baseball League games tonight at a ballpark near you. Check Cape Cod online for a full schedule. Click sports. Also, the Red Sox start a three game series against Tampa Bay at Fenway tonight. As for the all-star snub of Sox first baseman Kevin Euclid, we can only say, alas, poor Euke. Now, the all-important Cape and Islands forecast for tonight, mostly clear with a low around 59 for the 4th of July, partly cloudy with a high near 74, excellent grilling weather. And folks, speaking of good grub, check out the food section in tomorrow's Cape Cod Times. It's historical, hysterical, and here's food editor Gwen Frist to tell you all about it. To say happy birthday, America, reporter Joanna Crosby went back a long, long time, about 231 years, for revolutionary recipes. Now, that's better known as the food that fueled our forefathers. Say that several times. It's not like those guys could just run onto the mini mart and get hot dogs for the grill. No, they had to do think ahead. And in case you don't like cold squirrel, we're going to give you the recipe that Thomas Jefferson used for macaroni and cheese. The stuff, the good stuff he served at Monticello. And George Washington, we have his hoe cakes. They're like a corn cake with a lot of butter and, and honey on top. Did she say hoe cakes? Okay, we gotta get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for July 3rd. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast.